What's up guys? I'll be showing you how you can, how to install the EVGA hybrid water uh, water block for the GTX 1080 or 1070. Uh, it's the same size. Um, here it's a how to uh, basically get this card colder uh, than what it normally is under load because these guys do have a tendency to run kind of hot. Um, so with this cooler, this is actually going to be my second one because I have two uh, 1080. Uh, 1080s. Uh, huge improvement though, so hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, next part will be the actual installation. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and get started on the uh, removal of the shroud uh, for the GTX 1080 Founders Edition. Um, as far as looks wise, it actually looks really nice as far as the uh, appearance goes but as far as cooling it's not as good um, so first what you're gonna do is take the back plate off and then you have a whole slew of little screws that you have to take out um, the screwdriver that I use um, it's registered on here as pH triple zero so really really let me see if you can get it Really, really, really tiny um, head. So let's see. Oh, I forgot to grab something. All right. So if you guys don't have one of these, definitely invest in getting them because magnetic uh, little trays keeps all your screws uh, together. All right, so next, what you're gonna need is, let's see, I think it's this one. Okay, so what you're gonna need next is one of these guys. It's called an M, uh, M4.0. Uh, that's to remove the little, looks like little hex nuts right there. Um, and you have uh, just as many of them as you did the little tiny screws because they go all there. Um, now EVGA does give you an option in case you don't want to use the back plate. They provide a separate set of screws uh, for those. They're right here. But I, I'm i going to keep my back plate so they provide some uh, screws for that as well but um, since I've already did this once with my other uh, 1080 I'll just reuse these. And they work the same way, so. Next one. Last one that you're gonna need to remove the shroud off of the PCB. Uh, you have to remove a couple of screws. Those two guys right there, the little bigger ones, they're the ones that are holding on the shroud still to the actual PCB. So what I'm using for that is just a normal PH0 uh, screwdriver. Because you're going to be reusing these. Um, for the new, sh uh, for the new cooler. So these guys to the side. So now all you have to do is just gently kind of start peeling it from the, I usually do it from the back right here uh, until it starts to separate. Oh, before we do that, I forgot to take off the actual GPU screws. Now we can do that. So, as you can see, it comes freely off. And you got a couple of uh, connectors. One of them is for the uh, LED light. The other one's gonna be for the fan. Just gently pull them off. And 
and then you have your PCB. All right. All right, so now grab some paper towels or whatever you have and just clean off the uh, actual uh, thermal paste. Now some of the uh, like YouTubers like to go online and see they'll use isopropyl alcohol 70 or 90 percent uh, or some actually use GPU coolers or GPU cleaners. Um, you can do that it's just to me it's not as necessary because um, the actual GPU performs in I think the same way whether it's uh, spotless or when you just use normal paper towel but all you want to do is just make sure that the actual GPU is nice and clean before you set the cooler on now you don't need any uh, like thermal paste or anything since the actual water block has pre-applied uh, thermal paste already there um, but to each his own so now what you're going to do is thermal pads on this um, provided um, cooler are already on so you don't have to mess around uh, with it at all all you really want to do is just make sure that it lines up properly on here um, and do not connect this yet to the actual power source I mean to the uh, fan connector so just kind of line it up make sure that you're sitting that's sitting flush and then all you do of course turn it around and then just screw screw the actual cooler onto the PCB. So we'll go back to that one. So what I like doing, just instead of it moving around, I just do one or maybe a couple of screws down the center. Uh, just so it holds the cooler down. I'm going to turn it around and see if everything's spinning. All right. Next thing. What am I going to do? Not that. All right. So, inside your package here, you're going to need to put this piece in. It's going to it's going to sit right here uh, to route to hold the actual tubes. To go to go through the actual uh, shroud because uh, the shroud the actual shroud has it on there as well pre pre installed. Um, let's see, so that one's on there. Good. So now let's move that out of the way. So this is going to be the tricky part um, itself. So now what we'll do nice. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the cooler. Make sure the holes line up on it. 
then what you're going to do is going to turn the cooler around. And then screw it in like in like a hex pattern, but don't over tighten it. Okay, and water cooler's on. All right, so in the middle right here, um, let me see if you can kind of tell, there's a bit of a gap where the tubes are, just right in between there. It's designed for the actual fan connector. This guy right here to go and connect this fan through. So, um, what you're gonna do, I should have done this beforehand. I'm just gonna route the cord through the middle, like that. I can see it. Move forward a bit. Kind of like that. Um, and then this guy right here is the one that's going to be connecting this fan and then also the pump to the uh, fan connector on the PCB. So this one I usually just route underneath just to be out of your way. So there's a couple of ways you can route the cable. You can go um, either around here where the shroud um, has that right there so it's going to cover it. Um, what I actually like is having it go through here because you do have a you do get a couple of wherever they are little um, I don't know if you can see them but right there that's a little piece of tape um, that's just designed to stick onto this uh, cooler uh, so that the cable doesn't move. So what I'll do I'll go ahead and connect all this stuff first and then um, We'll go, we'll go to the next step. All right guys, so I did connect it. Um, right here, when you're gonna be connecting it, uh, just use a little bit of force with your screw just to push, a screwdriver just to push down on it just so it, it makes a firm connection. Um, and then, it looks like they actually made a little compartment right here where it can hang. All right, so, let's see. We're gonna do this. Gonna do it like that right there. Okay. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's basically two little pieces of tape holding the cord down. Would have been nice if they included just one more, just being a safe side, so that the core doesn't go there. Anyway, um, now top of the shroud. Now what you're going to do, you're going to use these screws um, to connect the actual shroud to the uh, cooler. 
And you're only going to need just a handful of them, so uh, we'll put them, I guess all of them want to come out. Never mind. So, first what you're going to do is connect the LED portion um, to the uh, PCB. Just be very careful with this as well. Again, just use like your screw, just gently make sure that it uh, sits and clicks on. Um, then you sit and stay right there. All right. Now, when you're putting the shroud on, make sure that you're routing the cable around that lip right there so it doesn't touch the fan. And basically just tighten everything up. All right, guys, shroud is finally on. Um, oh, it's a piece of plastic. Um, you have, you have uh, let's see, a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws uh, that are going to be holding this uh, shroud to the actual uh, cooler. Um, just don't forget to put these guys back on. Right, and then just to finish this up, just the back piece now. So, now the only thing that you're not going to be able to do is there's one particular screw that does not fit. That's, it wasn't part of the initial, I guess, design uh, with them. So, like this right here, when it's set like that, that particular screw right there will not go through. There's nothing to, for it to hold down to. Um, this one, on the other hand, is fine. I think. Actually, no, never mind. Neither one of them. Yeah, no, neither, neither, uh, neither one of them. Uh, actually, we'll go through there, but that's okay because you got all the yellow little tiny screws holding them, holding the uh, the backing down. So I'll go ahead and finish this up, and um, that basically is it. All you have to do then, what's left to do, is just connect the the fan connector and the fan together, uh, and then it just install in your machine, and then you actually are be will be set to go. So thanks for watching, guys.